Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. It's me, Cooper, and we are going to be dueling Yami Yugi today. He has a great background with a Dark Magician girl with actual titties, and a Dark Magician which is just looking good. Alright, let's see what we got here. And I get to go first still, so it's all okay. Thank you for letting me go first, uh, Mr. Mr. Yugi, Mr. King of Games. I really need to if I'm gonna win. So I activate the pad greed. And this greedy little pot's gonna let me do stuff, like draw cards. And then I'm gonna act, uh, I'm gonna set Call of the Haunted just for safety reasons. I'm going to set my Sangan in hopes that you destroy it. And then we'll see what he's packing. So what does Yugi use in this game? What is his power? Ah, crap. I lost Call of the Haunted, that's a shame. I like Call of the Haunted. Oh, he uses Valkyrion in this game. That must be his boss monster, okay. So he's probably got Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Valkyrion. That's interesting. Those are his powerhouses, huh? Well, luckily for me, those powerhouses are not very powerful, and I can defeat them. So I will get my Wall of Illusion first. Other than Beta, Beta's pretty tough. Alright, but Seven Card Fish is tougher. I'm not going to summon Seven Card Fish, but it is tougher. Maybe I will summon Seven Card Fish. I'm just afraid of Raigeki. Last episode, we had a big Raigeki problem. Still won a few duels, but the Raigeki problem was real. Let me see if I got rid of his Mirror Force. Nope, just a Magic Jammer, okay. Well, that's good to get rid of too, but uh, the Mirror Force is what I fear. Let's go ahead and just summon a Whiptail Crow. I could go for a seven card fish, but this is plenty. And then boom. Although if he does have his Gamma, his Gamma is strong enough to hold back my seven card fish, and that'll be a problem. 1800 defense is a little bit too uh, thick for my needs. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm glad I didn't summon the seven card fish now. That would have hurt a little bit more. He just gave up his turn. Wow. Yugi boy, you are. You just want me to hurt you, don't you? I appreciate it. I really like that you're letting me go like ham on this, but I'm just kind of worried. Like, why would you do this? What is con what, what, what is compelling you to let me go so hard against you? I mean, Kaiba beat me in like four turns last episode. It was insane. But you, you're just letting me win. All right, what is he gonna do? He has a Gemini Elf, interesting. So he does, uh, Gemini Elf makes sense that Yugi has it, that's fine. I'm gonna activate Rush Recklessly on the card that you attacked. And now you're gonna lose the fight and you lost your Gemini Elf and you've lost the duel. All right, that's GG. Looks like we win, everybody. I was expecting more of a fight, but Yugi was very kind. So I appreciate that, Yugi. Thank you very much, buddy. I'm just gonna destroy you now. I hope that's all right. All right, 1800, 1650. And the good old cleanup crew of the High Tide Gyojin. Go for it. There we go. We've got to win, everybody. We've got to win. Very good. When next we play, I'll work with my partner to build an even more powerful deck. Alright, well, you're building powerful decks, so I'm going to be looking for powerful cards like Relinquish. See if I can get that. Invader of the Throne. I never really saw that as a rare card, but sure. Another MST is good. I don't need another one, but that's good. Hey, I could really use this. Alright, what did we get today? Invigoration, Wither Control, Stuffed Animal. That's a cute card, but it's not really great. It's just a cutie. Uh, nothing good. Nothing good from that week. Alright, now that we've beaten everybody, we can go ahead and start looping. Yami Bakura, I'm coming back for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not dreaming of facing you. I just want to beat you. So everyone on this page, if you haven't noticed, other than Kaiba, has a Millennium item. Kaiba's just chilling. He's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm a billionaire. That is my item. Alright, let's go ahead and set this. That's, oh, I didn't even notice I had Upstart. Sorry about that. Upstart Goblin. Beautiful. Wall of Illusion is way better. Ageki Swords. Yeah, Wall of Illusion, that's a good start. Even if my opponent has a Vorse Raider or something, at least it'll bounce it back. Or Gemini Elf. Yep, that's that's also a thing. Now, instead of bouncing it back, why don't we just pop it? There we go. Because that's a little too strong. No, no, no fun. There's no fun to be had in those kind of opponents. I have two swords. I just realized that. I'm going to use one of them. Alright, and I'm going to go all out. 
because I have Swords of Revealing Light and I feel no fear at the moment. I just want victory. Alright, 1000 damage, that's very good. And uh, 1600 damage, even better. Sword's back! Oh, okay, I see the game you want to play. Who can summon the bigger tribute monster eventually? Okay. Well, let's throw away some of your cards so you don't even get to try that. Alright, plus I think I have MST anyway, so that's fine. Yeah. I got me a mystical space typhoon. Alright. Because I expect a flip effect, I'm gonna do this. Normally I would never ride Geki, but I expect let me let me see if my prediction was correct. Man eater bug, okay, see? I've saved us some time. It's not the greatest thing in the world what I just did, but it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So we got this down, we got this down, and our opponent is going down. Sorry, uh Yami Bakora, but I think I can win this. Even with these two weak monsters that I've drawn, and I haven't drawn a single other card. I still think I can win this. Oh, there's a penguin soldier. That'll make a difference. As long as this face down isn't too tanky. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? Mmm, that's sucky. That's sucky indeed. Alright, why don't we go to main face two? Why don't you chill in the defensive position? Yeah, so he had his own wall of illusion just ready to go. And the duel, eh, he played one face down card. The duel should be over, but because he played one face down card and it could be Mirror Force, the duel has not ended just yet. All right, so he has a completely open field. And if I attack with all of these monsters, I can do 3,400 damage. Not even enough to win the duel. So I'm not going to try and win the duel with this. I'm just going to do these two. Just in case it was Mirror Force. And if I'm lucky, he'll just try to destroy Penguin Soldier, leaving himself open to lose the duel. That is my hope. Let's see what Bakura does instead. Nope. It's even worse than I expected. He had a Force Raider this whole time he was just not willing to use. What is this AI? Why does it do these things? I'm going to summon the Fire Kraken and attempt to win the duel. I'm going to activate Rush recklessly ahead of time. Powering up my Neo. I should have assumed that. Should have played Sword first. Yep, you're 100% right everyone at home. I was an idiot. I was an idiot for not even doing this, but I've done it now. This is only when you're attacked, right? The monster attacking this creature, of course. All right, well then, we have three more turns to figure out how we're gonna defeat a Vorse Raider. And whatever that is. All right. In my opinion, that thing is Wall of Illusion, so we're not gonna mess with it. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. Mmm! No! I've lost everything! I've lost literally everything. I hate it. I hate it so much. All right. Well, thanks to me top decking Sangan, I'm not out of the duel just yet. All right. Let's uh, crash. Giving me the ability to use Sangan's effect. And that gives me the ability to get me an Aquamador. And now we just wait. We wait to see what Mr. Bakura wants to do. Mmm, he had two wall illusions. Great. That's appealing. Pot of Greed. What a time to top deck this card. Alright, Giant Trunade uh, is useless to me. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to set Maqua Mador. And we're gonna have to hope for the best. Okay, I was afraid for a second there, but it seems everything's fine. Malevolent Nuzzler, that makes a little bit of a difference. That makes a little bit of a difference, okay. So, we uh, summon that, we activate Malevolent Nuzzler on our guy, giving us 2350, 
And we do just enough damage to win the duel. Okay. Close duel. Close duel indeed. Holy crap was that close. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Bakura, you're pretty tough. Yeah, I'm more powerful than you. Yeah, you knew after I faced your host that I was going to be a problem. But there's not this much of a problem. Uh, most of these cards suck. Well, Impendent's fine. Upstart's fine. Uh, I could do better, though. Let's keep trying, everyone. Let's keep trying. Who else do we have to duel? I believe uh, Ishizu Ishtar would be a good duel now. Even though she looks just like Isis. And I mean the character Isis, not the group that... Uh, that uh, us Americans seem to hate. For good reason, yada yada yada, who cares. Let's move on to not political matters. Ma Velo, we got a del delinquent duo, let's start with that. If we throw away a trap or a spell, I'll check it out. I saw a trap. We got rid of Metal Morph, not the sc Oh, but Metal Morph with Maha Velo, that would have been scary. So that was not too bad of a combo. We have the trap and spell stopping combo in our hand. And we don't have any real decent monsters, so we're gonna have to go with Whiptail Crow and hope she doesn't have a Gemini Elf, a Horse Raider, or whatever else everyone else seems to have. Hot Agreed's gonna get her something at least. I could Magic Jammer it, but on this at this point, I don't want to. It's fine. I was gonna Magic Jammer it, but I stopped myself. Hoshingen is no threat to us, so Hoshinigen, that's fine. You wanna be a little Star Boy? That's cool with me, buddy. I'll deal with it right now. I'm gonna summon a good old two-headed King Rex. Should have summoned Mahavelo, just realized that. Just remember that he buffs me too. But whatever, two-headed King Rex will do the job. I'll think about uh, summoning my Mahavelo when I get an equip spell of some sort. Let's see what we get. Yeah, ooh, that's good for me. No, 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 that works well for me. I'm by me. I don't care if a Shining Angel's strong, my Mahavelo's stronger. Yeah. I have some good light monsters in this deck, and I don't mind using them. Let's go with a pot of greed. Oh, baby, this is going to be a painful turn for my opponent. This is going to hurt like hell. Uh, I am going to activate Change of Heart early. Because I want that Shining Fairy. It's not, that's Shining Angel, not Shining Fairy. What the hell? I forgot that this game has different names for some reason. Alright, so let's go with Maha Velo. Give me another, what, 3,000 attack now? 3,250 attack. I love it. And let's do that much damage directly. Oh, beautiful. Why not add another 19? Do you see how hopeless the duel is now? I hope you understand that you've already lost. Let's see what uh, she plans to do now. I don't... I think that will make a difference. I think I'm still stronger than you. Yeah. I don't know why she thought that would make a difference. I'm still stronger. In fact, I'm way stronger. You can use your Axe of Despair a little bit later. There we go. Just set that. Set that. Re-equip this. There we go. And now my opponent has to face defeat because I have the strongest of cards. Sure, I get to I have to let them uh, special summon something, but what could they possibly summon to scare me? Aha, another shining angel. Not bad. Your strategy won't work though, even if you gave it another an ex of despair. That is a problem to me. That I will actually have to lose my swords over. Alright, so I was not expecting them to use Dark Hole. Hell, I haven't even seen Dark Hole since I've started playing this, really. All I see is Regeki. That is completely fine. I would love a more a buffer monster. And that doesn't change the results. I have a stronger monster than you. And that trap card, I believe, did nothing for most of the duels, so that's fine. Alright, I activate Monster Reborn. And I'm going to find the strongest card in this pack. Oh, Hoshin again is not technically what I want. Mahavelo, uh, I guess Hoshin again, why not? All right, boop. Now we're all stronger. I have 3,750 attack. I don't think my opponent wants to face me. Even with your 3,400 attack, you still mean nothing. 
Axe of Despair, are you actually going to use it? No, you're not. Okay, she's on her last Shining Angel, even though it's called Shining Fairy. She has Vanisher of Light. I was not expecting that. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to lose Hoshin again, but that's fine. Now with Vanisher of Light, we're in a little bit of danger. That thing's strong. Tsunami's the Dark Witch is a strong card. But if she left her shy up, she left Shining Angel in attack mode, I win the duel. I have won this duel, I'm sorry. Thank you for the fun duel, though. See you next time. In fact, I would have won the duel no matter what, so it's good. GG. Not a bad, not a bad one, though. Not a bad duel. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's go with a... I still want Relinquish, so I'll try to get it. We'll level in Nuzzler again, Mahavelo again, Grigol, Tyone. Okay. Not the greatest of cards, but I'll take it. Next, I will face good old Shadi. You wish to challenge me? You better come ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I can defeat you. Only Kaiba can defeat me. Only Kaiba. And Merrick that one time. I remember that now. But ignore that. He took my Meteor Dragon, that piece of shit. I hate him. Alright, Wall of Illusion is always a good start. Even if he draws a big boy card. Especially if he draws a big boy card. You have a card like Dying Keto the Cure Master? What are you, a freaking... Oh my god, I hate it! First turn Rageki every time! What do I do? Oh look, it's Rageki. Thank you. I appreciate having my own. But I... Oh no! I don't want to destroy... Oh, thank god! Oh, thank god! I didn't want to destroy my own MST, but it worked out because it was Magic Jammer. Oh, that was lucky. So very lucky. Let's just go for maximum damage. He healed himself a little bit, and I want him to suffer for doing such a atrocity. There we go. So, Mr. Shoddy, are you as strong as Kaiba? Can you find a way to do- You also have Tribute to the Doom, aren't you a dick? But no cards. Okay, that's fine. I have plenty of cards. And they're all willing to destroy you. Especially my Crawling Dragon, number two. Alright, let's go ahead and set Rush recklessly in case he happens to top deck something with a value. And let's hope that Crawling Dragon can do the job. 1600, not bad. So, what are you gonna do now? Okay, set a card. That's not too scary. Nothing I can't handle. Let's find out if I can't handle it. I wanna activate swords. Nope, it's something I could definitely handle. A Lord of Zemia, nothing to fear. Garnia of the Throne Room, come on out. You work together with your friend here, and we'll destroy our opponent. Alright, there we go. Lord of Zemia is being destroyed. No, I don't need my Rush Recklessly, thank you very much. And now I just need to go for that direct damage. Guys, I think Shoddy is going to lose this duel. I don't think he has a way of coming back. I feel kind of bad for him at this point. I hope he doesn't hate me for this is some bullshit. Yep, never mind. I hate him. He found a way to do it. Alright, now I don't have any powerful monsters at the moment. Oh, there's my magic hammer. That would have helped. I summon the mystical elf in attack mode. And I have to hope that mystical elf can do the job. Slowly but surely, she'll do the job. So he's used Raigeki, Tribute to the Doom, and Dark Hole on me. All monster destruction cards. But he hasn't drawn a single monster that can hand, uh, handle me. Well, maybe that one will be the monster. If I don't draw a good card, there's no reason for me to attack it. That's good enough. I activate Premature Burial. I'll pay some life points. My Battle Ox is the strongest thing I got, so I'll get myself a Battle Ox. And now we get to find out if that card is scary or not. My assumption will be not. I think we can handle it. Let's see if I was right. I was super right. That's Lord of Zemi again. Why do you even have that card? It's not a good card. It has no purpose. It doesn't evolve. It doesn't do anything. What am I thinking? Pokemon? Yeah, maybe I'm thinking Pokemon or Digimon. It's all possible. What I'm trying to say is Mr. Shoddy here is making some shoddy decisions. Hmm. Whatever. Let's see. Aquamador. There we go. There's a card. There's a card that'll win duels. Alright. Boop. 
It's time. Alright, it was an effect monster. Maybe it would have saved him if I hadn't activated Raigeki, but I wanted to win the duel, so I activated Raigeki. And it looks like we are all set. 1700 into... Go ahead, Aquamador, finish the duel off. 1200. We win, everybody. I never dreamed you were so powerful. Yet again, you tell me the same thing. Alright, give me relinquished. All I ask is relinquished. Oh, I press B. Whoops, sorry, guys. Uh, weather report, high tag Yogan, Snake Fang. Snake Fang? That's kind of dumb. Chain energy, yeah, that's not great either. I guess Malevola Nuzzler is the good card that we got from that. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to be playing some more uh, duels against those guys because we need to get a ton of wins on them in order to unlock the final tier of opponents. But I will see you all then. Thank you all for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.